hello. <laughs> Sorry, just having a stir of my cup. It's really very cold here at the moment. And I've had to make myself a nice hot drink. And it's quite late as well. So I'm probably looking a little bit tired. Just, you know, do my hair a little bit, shall I? <laughs> Nothing like a bit of normality, is there? Okay, <laughs> I'm really posh for my videos, hey. Um, okay, this is one of those, again, where I want to be able to read a verse that I have lived. Bringing the Bible to life. Proving that it's not just an outdated book written by religious nuts. It is actually... Well, it holds truth truth as much today as it has done for a long time okay so what are we in today we are in acts 9 and it's verse 7 i'm going to do something a little bit different today okay i'm going to read the particular verse that i identify with but then i'm going to read the chapter um i think or maybe not the whole chapter. we see how we get along. Um, if you don't want to have a listen, just turn off. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> you know, bye viewers. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> come back. Come back. Don't disappear. Okay. Right. <laughs> chapter 9, verse 7. The men travelling with Saul stood there speechless. They heard the sound, but did not see anyone. Okay. Right. I am now going to read the part of the chapter that I think is relevant to get that verse meaning. Okay. Meanwhile... Saul was still breathing out murderous threats against the Lord's disciples. He went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus so that if he found any there who belonged to the way, whether men or women, he might take them up. I'm sorry, I can't see it probably sitting that close because of the, the light. Does it go on the book? Right, okay. Can you still see me? Hello. Right, let's try again. Okay, Acts chapter 9. Meanwhile, Saul was still breathing out murderous threats against the Lord's disciples. He went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus, so that if he found any there who belonged to the way, whether men or women, he might take them as prisoners to Jerusalem. As he neared Damascus on his journey... Suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting, he replied. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. The men travelling with Saul stood there speechless. <laughs> They heard the sound, but did not see anyone. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand into Damascus. For three days he was blind and did not eat or drink anything. Okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go through any more of that. You can if you want to get the Bible or whatever. My part, the relevance, is verse 7. Now, in this chapter, as you can see, Saul, who has his name changed to Paul, um, he has just had this major experience with Jesus. He's actually chasing after the disciples, and he's going to kill the disciples and all the rest of it, right? Um... But Jesus stops him on the way to Damascus. And that is so cool. And I so love 
love love love love this chapter and not only that i love it too when paul is later on explaining to king agrippa you know the, the fact that jesus stopped him on the way and he's repeating it all over again you know this is me this is me okay so i'm not paul but my experience okay i was down on my knees in church and i was on my own and I was crying and crying. I am so sorry. I'm so so sorry. I'm so so sorry. And it just I just kept repeating it. And I was the blackness pit place where I was apologizing from, you know, inside me. I hadn't been myself for ages. I was horrifically, horrifically beside myself. I can't even go into it with words really. But I heard a voice right there. Get up, my child your sins are forgiven now i heard the voice i heard the voice right there but i didn't see anyone i couldn't see anyone and and i seriously wanted to find out after that it, after that had happened to me i wanted to find out if there was somebody in the bible that had experienced the same thing that i had and, and do you know what i like about this thing with paul is that when he repeats it again he talks about it again and and not only that not only that his life has changed from this event okay he changes personality and and character and everything just he changes and and he starts working for the Lord, I love this bit, what Jesus says. <laughs> I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting, he replied. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. Don't you just love the power? Don't they, I mean, that is just so cool. Like, like, Paul is like, well, when he was Saul, okay, he's, he's, he's like, he's, he's after killing the disciples of Jesus, you know, he's after ruining what Jesus has built. And, and, and like, Jesus is just like, no, not having that. And, and Paul's life has changed. He just starts spreading the gospel and stuff and, and, you know, talking about Jesus all the time. And, and, you know, that's what I have done in my life just i heard a voice you know i haven't been able to stop talking about jesus since and 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 god and the bible and and he's amazing he's so cool he's so amazing and i just keep talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and i love it and, and I just want to share to anybody that will stop still for long enough and listen to me. <laughs> I have a passion. He's turned my light on. <laughs> He's so cool. My God is amazing. He's amazing. And I'm telling you right now that if Paul hadn't already beaten me to it and, and done most of the New Testament, I would be the author. <laughs> bang on <laughs> thank you for listening bye bye